Our top story in the bipartisan backlash to President Biden's student loan handout. But it's not just lawmakers. Even some of the president's usual friends in the media are slamming this. The Washington Post calling the handout a, quote, regressive, expensive mistake. Let's bring in Harold Ford Jr. and David Avella, our power panel today. We thank you both for being here. Let me just put it up on the screen. This is Washington Post editorial board. It takes money from the broader tax base, mostly made up of workers who did not go to college to subsidize the education debt of people with valuable degrees. Biden's student loan decision will not do enough to help the most vulnerable Americans. It will, however, provide a windfall for those who don't need it with American taxpayers footing the bill. There are a lot of critics, and now we see on both sides of the aisle of this plan. David? Sandra, you may remember that I'm on the board of governors of Shepherd University, Harvard on the Potomac <laughs> River, Harold, uh, if you've not been there. Uh, we don't know the full impact this is going to have. For example, will interest rates go up on those who actually do have student loans? The full impact is not known on the president's action. What is known is the Democrats are starting to peak way too early in August. And as we see gas prices continue to stay where they are, as you continue to see home fuel prices continue to be high, as you see this backlash that we have on student loans, you have Democratic candidates that are going to continue to run away from this president as the elections get closer. Look, it's hard to imagine, Harold, that anybody who doesn't benefit directly from this plan is going to be happy about it. But Karine Jean-Pierre, to your point about not knowing the full impact of this plan, was just pressed in the White House briefing room a few moments ago about how much this is going to cost. Listen. There are critics who are saying that this is not about the pandemic, it's not about those conditions, that this is about getting people to vote ahead of the midterms and that the real national emergency is Democrats in the midterm election. Well, we have said we're not going to make everybody happy. Uh, and so if you're not making everybody happy, uh, you cannot say that, you know, that what you just laid out is certainly cannot be the case either. Okay, so that was Jackie Heinrich, our own reporter, pressing her on if the economy is so great, and I'll get to her not knowing the real cost of it in just a minute, different thought. Um, but if, we're, if the economy is so great as this White House often paints a rosy picture of what's happening right now, why are handouts needed, Harold? So I, I'm not for, first, thanks for having me on. Yeah. I, I'm not for uh, this. I think if you're going to do a, a student loan forgiveness, you ought to condition it. We have, we have needs with plumbers, electricians, with teachers, with nurses, with family doctors. If you want to provide some relief for that group of people at, at your college or any college, uh, we should be doing that. Fundamentally, uh, found, foundationally as Americans, we all have to have a stake uh, in the country. That's why Democrats believe in a progressive tax system. But to just hand out or to give out student loan forgiveness without any regard for fairness for those students that you that you laid out rightly so. My parents took out a loan for me for my third year in law school. I think my dad forgot there was a third year in law school and I made him take the <laughs> loan out, but I had to pay my had to pay my loan like everyone else had to pay theirs. And then two, the inflation matter. My friend Jason Furman, who is certainly uh, no 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 Republican, has made clear that this a half a trillion dollars on top of what we're dealing with now is not going to tame and it seems like Inflation has flattened. Gas prices are coming down. There's a narrative that has developed for Democrats. I hope this is not, that this does not disrupt that We had a good night the other night in the elections here in New York with moderates winning. I'm hopeful, I'm just hopeful that this does not deter us and distract us from what we should be focused on. That's why he's so good. He makes so much sense. But this is not what the administration... Is <laughs> <laughs> I want to get now to Karine Jean-Pierre, and this is just a short time ago. Now he or she is getting pressed on the true cost of this plan. Listen. So you could say this is how much it's going to cost if everyone who is eligible applies. I, I, I mean, don't have a, I, we just don't have a, a number to share at this time. Why don't you? We just have to see. It is a process that we just need uh, to, take, to, take a, to take a look. All right, so we're going to have more on this. We're going to have you guys back because we are out of time. Thank you very much for joining us. Sure. All right, appreciate it, guys. We'll be right back.